Welcome to this second video about Poisson regression. In this video, we'll see how we can use rate data instead of count data in Poisson regression. We'll also discuss the meaning of the so-called offset. In the previous video, we used the following example where one has counted the number of births of rabbits in a certain area at different weeks during the spring. We see that the birth rate is much greater in early spring compared to late spring. Note that we here assume that the counts have been observed for exactly one week. This means that all the counts have been observed in a fixed time interval. However, let's say that the time interval varies in which the counts have been obtained. We see that during the first time interval which is 0.85 weeks, the count is 90. The second time interval is 1.1 weeks. During this time interval, 76 births were observed. To adjust for the fact that the counts have been observed during different amount of time, we could calculate the rates, which here represents the number of births per week. For example, if we divide 90 by 0 0.85, we see that the estimated number of births per week is about 105.88. To use the rates instead of the counts in Poisson regression, we can express the left hand side as a log rate instead of a log count, where y is the expected counts within the given time intervals. However, in Poisson regression, the left-hand side should represent log count since we assume that the expected count follows a Poisson distribution, which can only take non-negative integer values. Thus, we should fit the model to the counts, not the rates. By using the logarithmic laws, we can rewrite the left-hand side of the equation to the log of y minus the log of t. If we move this term to the right hand side, we now have only the expected counts on the left hand side. This term is called an offset, which does not involve any estimation of a parameter. It is only used to adjust for the different lengths of the time intervals. We can now fit this model to our count data by including the different time intervals in the offset. Most statistical software tools will allow for the addition of an offset when the Poisson regression is computed. We'll here have a look at another example where the number of cancer cases have been obtained over a certain time period in a given population. For example, in the age group 40 to 59, one has observed 30 cancer cases, whereas in the age group 60 to 79, one has observed 31 cancer cases. And in the age group with people that are 80 years or older, the number of cases is 29. However, one would expect more cases in the older age groups, since cancer is more common in the elderly population. The reason why we observe about the same number of cases in the different age groups is due to that the population size differs between the three groups. We see that there are a lot more individuals in the age group 40 to 59 compared to the age group 60 to 79. To adjust for the fact that the population sizes differ between the different age groups, we can calculate the number of cases per population which can be seen as a rate. We see that about 3% of the ones in age group 40 to 59 have been diagnosed with cancer during the study time. For example, this proportion was calculated by dividing the number of cases by the population size. We see that the proportion of cases increases for the elderly groups, which seems reasonable. We could now use the following model for this dataset. We fit this model to the number of cancer cases. 
where we use an offset to adjust for the differences in population size between the different age groups. In this example, n is a vector with the population sizes of the three different groups. Note that the proportion of cases does not provide any information about the actual number of cancer cases that have been observed. When we fit them all to this data, we should therefore make use of both the number of cases and the population sizes. This information is necessary in order to compute things like the standard error and the p-value for our coefficients. Note that the variable age is on categorical scale. Poisson regression models with explanatory variables on a categorical scale will be discussed in the next lecture. This was the end of this lecture about the use of rate data in Poisson regression. In the next lecture we will see how we can use explanatory variables on a categorical scale and how to interpret the coefficients of such models.